Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. We've been having a very cold winter here in Wyoming, and according to the current NOAA data, it's been the coldest winter on record. That may not be accurate as the data is not currently complete. Just before Christmas, we got down to minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit, which was the coldest temperature here since 1990. The forecast temperature of minus 14 degrees Fahrenheit next Wednesday would be a record. The previous record was set just last year when it got down to minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit on February 22nd. The high temperature last February 22nd was minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 19 degrees Celsius. We've also been having a lot of snow this winter. Two years ago on March 14th, we recorded our one-day record snowfall here in Cheyenne. The sign in our yard completely disappeared underneath the snow. Experts say that we're having the worst drought in 1,200 years, but Kyrie, Kyrie, and Toto don't appear to be convinced. Reality doesn't suit the global warming agenda, so government agencies tamper with the data to make the cooling disappear. Over the past century, Wyoming winter afternoon temperatures have declined about 1 degree Fahrenheit. But the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration tampers with their own data to turn this cooling trend into a warming trend. They cool past temperatures about 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit and warm recent temperatures about 1 degree Fahrenheit for a total of about 3.5 degrees of data tampering. After they've tampered with the data, it looks nothing like the actual thermometer data, which is shown in purple. Now I'm going to show how you can create these graphs using my new release of the Unhiding the Decline software. If you haven't seen my previous tutorial on this, I highly recommend that you watch it first. In the Command Prompt window, which I discussed in yesterday's video, we're going to type in ghcn.exe us.list States equals WI, winter, and then USHCN. And finally, we're going to hit the Enter key. In about a minute, this window should pop up. Now we're going to click on the Y axis Select button, and then USHCN Raw Measured T Max, and then hit Draw Plot. Next, we're going to click on the Y2 axis Select button, and then click on US HCN Final Adjusted Tmax, and then Draw Plot. This is what pops up, and there's too much information, so you can't really interpret the data like this. So I'm going to unselect everything except for the Draw Mean. Now we are ready to draw the plot, so I'm going to click on the Draw Plot button. This is the graph which pops up, but I just want to look at the last century, so I'm going to type in 1923 into the X-Men box. Now I'm going to hit the Draw Plot button once again. After drawing, this is what the graph looks like. There's something not right about this graph, though. The y-axis scales are different for one graph than they are for the other one. We want the y-axis scales to be consistent, so we're going to go from 31 degrees up to 37 degrees. I typed in 31 for Y min and 37 for Y max, and I also typed in 31 for Y2 min and 37 for Y2 max. Now I'm going to hit the Draw Plot button once again. This is the graph which pops up. It shows the raw measured temperatures in red and the adjusted temperatures in purple. And now you can see how the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration turns a cooling trend into a warming trend to suit their global warming agenda. I'm going to show one more thing in this video, which is to graph the adjustments being made. The first thing we have to do is clear out the Y2 axis, and I do that with this. By selecting the blank line at the top, we get rid of the Y2 axis. Now I'm going to click on the Clear button to clear out all of these parameters up here. Next, I'm going to click on the Y axis Select button and then click on the USHCN Final Minus Raw T Max and then I'm going to hit Draw Plot. I only want to look at the last 100 years, so I'm going to type 1923 into the X Men box and then click on Draw Plot once again. 
Now we're looking at the 10 year mean of the adjustments being made, but we really want to look at the yearly data. So I'm going to click on draw Y points and draw Y lines and then click on draw plot once again. Now we can see how NOAA is cooling past temperatures by 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit and warming recent temperatures by about 1 degree Fahrenheit. This is a 3.5 degree hockey stick of fraud. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this massive scam for the past 15 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, Upla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.